All right, good morning, Holy Family. Uh, Patrick here at the Seminarian, just giving an update on how things have been the past week uh, with the uh, parish family and, and Father Tom and all of you. Um, so this week has been, uh, it's been really active, uh, both in, a, in the parish and actually with the diocese. So I had the uh, blessing of getting to serve the ordination mass this past uh, Thursday and Friday for the two new priests of Green Bay. Uh, Father Ben Johnson and Father Kevin Ripley. So it was a beautiful blessing to get to uh, be there and, and celebrate uh, the ordinations with them. So thanks for all your prayers for seminarians, especially in this year of St. Joseph. Keep praying for uh, men, hopefully, uh, even, even from our parish, to come forward uh, to start um, training, formation study, to uh, think and pray about being a priest uh, of Jesus Christ in our diocese. During the week, Father uh, Tom has had me giving just a little reflection before daily Mass, which I really appreciated. It's an opportunity to learn uh, how to reflect on the Gospels each day and the readings of Mass to give uh, just a nice little sermon, reflection, uh, so I can get in the, in the habit of uh, doing that each day, which you have to do as a priest, obviously, for Mass each day, and then in a bigger way for Masses on, on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So I really appreciated him kind of letting me give those reflections and for everyone for listening to them and uh, giving me some good feedback. So thank you. Uh, It was beautiful to get to be at the First Communion uh, on Sunday to get to see the first crop of of First Communicants. Uh, It was really beautiful to see them with their families, with their siblings, uh, and just in that amazing moment of receiving our Lord uh, body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Blessed Sacrament for the first time. And it really enkindled, actually, in me, watching them, um, a deeper love uh, for what the Lord has given us in his body and his blood in the Eucharist, you know, this great gift that we have as Catholics. Uh, and it was just amazing to see that, that devotion with them and that excitement for these young people to receive the Blessed Sacrament for the first time. And so, of course, we'll keep up our prayers for them to, to grow in holiness, um, and grace. Uh, it was also great to get to see the adoration and confession on Thursday, the great turnout for that. Um, just uh, always amazing to get to see people praying before the Blessed Sacrament exposed, like you do every Thursday here, and to, to see a lot of people that go to confession. I think that's a, it's a wonderful thing, uh, and just the amount of um, mercy the Lord gives in that sacrament is something we all, we all need. Uh, is fallen human being. So it's amazing to see that on a weekly basis here at Holy Family, uh, along with the confession, I mean, with the adoration. Uh, I also appreciate everyone who came out for the theology class. Uh, looking forward to it, uh, continuing with you uh, these next uh, six weeks remaining. And uh, I, just, I think it's fun that so many people are interested in doing some theology. Uh, so hopefully it's a good class and you're uh, appreciating Um, some of the topics that we're getting into and encourage you if you haven't uh, come out yet but you're interested please come out or watch it online of course uh, on Thursday nights at 7 15 until 8 o'clock and finally uh, I really had a good time at the Casson Holy uh, Trinity uh, Cemetery Mass yesterday just really uh, neat to see the memory of the Casson Church still so alive uh, through through the cemetery and all those who are praying there for the beloved dead and getting to be with their, uh, their family in that way. Uh, even though the church, I guess, hasn't stood since 1960, was my understanding, but I could still see the spot where the church had been, where someone had left a sign up uh, in one of the fields there, as well as then just the beautiful setting for the, the cemetery that's still active there and uh, the great devotion and love that the, that the parish family has for that spot. So these are just some of the highlights from the week. I look forward to the coming weeks, and uh, I look forward to, to seeing you ar- uh, around the parish. God bless you, and have a good day.